In Flanders fields the poppies grow, between the crosses, row on row. John McRae's evocative words might be a fitting commemoration for our fallen service personnel, but it's the poppy that's captured public imagination for nearly 90 years. As a symbol, the poppy holds enormous weight to families of those who lost their lives in battle. But for some, the poppy is associated with militarism, which is why pacifists adopted the white poppy in protest at the act of war. The white poppy stands for a renunciation of war alongside mourning the dead of previous wars. In other words, we're saying that we don't only regret the fact that people have died, but we're damn well determined that we're not going to let anybody else die if we have anything to do with it. The fact that there's a debate about this powerful symbol is hugely significant according to philosopher A.C. Grayling. Symbols are tremendously important. Uh, in fact, we live by symbols. Because what, what symbols do is they concentrate meaning down into something immediately recognisable, immediately communicable. How powerful do you think a symbol can actually be? They can be so powerful that they can motivate people to murder, to war. <laughs> A symbol can sometimes become so powerful that its original meaning becomes perverted. If you're looking for an historical precedent, look no further than the most reviled symbol in history, the swastika. No other symbol is more notorious than this one. In the post-war world, it has come to serve as the ultimate badge of evil. And yet, it started out life as an ancient religious symbol of peace. And there's one man who'd like the symbol restored to its original meaning. I grew up in a Hindu household. I saw the swastika growing up. It was always present. Uh, and the symbol's been used in religions on the Indian subcontinent for thousands of years. And it was only when I went to school and studied history that I discovered the horrors attached to that symbol. And don't get me wrong, what the regime did was horrific. And, and, and what it still stands for is horrific, which is why it needs to return back to its positive origins. So as part of your mission, you've had a swastika tattooed onto your lip. That's right. Can I see it? Yeah. OK, it is quite weird when you just see a swastika tattoo. Do you accept that it could be perceived to be antagonistic? I think displaying it could offend people. It could give them the wrong ideas about me. Once the context has changed so much and a symbol has become so associated with an incredibly negative period of history, how on earth... Can you reclaim it? That's my worry about it. Sure. Well, it's a valid worry, and I think that that's, that's something that we're yet to see. But the Nazi party is defunct. The continuing use of the swastika by the far right still upsets me. It's my symbol. I want it back. Nerm's mission doesn't come as a surprise to A.C. Grayling. What those symbols have, have come to be is another language. It's another way that we communicate and understand and navigate around this, this world of ours. <laughs> 